Howdy, welcome back to the shop. Today we're doing a little alignment job on the old blazer. Now this one has got the the fancy wide offset rims on it. And these rims, bins are, they've got an extra inch of offset, offset in them. Alignment is really critical or you will eat tires real fast. So what I've got set up here is this is actually the last step it just occurred to me now that hey i might want to shoot a video for these guys so anyway this is how i set my toe in and how you set your steering wheel center so this blazer and i'm pretty sure just about all of them the back end is two inches from side outside to outside narrower than the front end so I'll show you what I've done here. So you can see I've got a straight string and this straight string is roughly over the center of the axles in the front and in the rear. And I've just got a little stick about two inches long and this stick's an inch wide. It's a paint stick, stir stick. And uh, I've cut about a half a dozen of these or maybe eight and they're all the same length, exactly the same length, and that's important. So I've got this stuck in the same place on the rim. This is the little sticks are stuck at the same place on the rim on all four rims, right on that, that ledge right there. And since the back is a full inch narrower than the front I've spaced the back one out an inch further now I could have cut these an inch further but I didn't really cut anything to length I just used the wax system so anyway my back string is an inch further out from the edge of the rim than my front strings are now that's important that means my string is running more or less give or take parallel to the center line of the car that's that's kind of important there so I've got my steering wheel more or less in the center and I can hold my little string or my little gauge block up here and I'm all but touching that string Now I've got about a sixteenth of an inch past the string. And I've got a little bit of slop in the steering box on this. And my steering wheel isn't exactly lined up, but it's close enough to suit me. Let's go to the other side. Now remember, we had about a sixteenth of an inch showing on our stick compared to the string. The string was about a sixteenth of an inch in from the edge of the stick on the driver's side. So here on the passenger side, and I haven't touched the steering wheel, I've got about a sixteenth of an inch of stick showing on this one. So that means if everything is about halfway right, that means that we have a toe in because the back, the trailing edge of our rim was out a sixteenth or so of an inch that means we have just a little bit of toe in and we want just a little bit of toe in on these the factory spec on it is one tenth of a degree now this is the factory is a page out of the factory service manual for a 99 blazer your your results may vary but this is factory specs for this particular rig and the well the whole 98 blazer series so those are the specs right there now y'all can pause that if you want to read that and jot it down or screenshot it and this is the factory's description out of the factory service manual for caster and camber in a nutshell we'll go over it here in just a second in a nutshell, on these ones, you really want zero camber and about, 
Oh, three degrees on the driver's side and about four degrees on the passenger side on your camber or on your caster rather and I'm gonna say that backward th three or four times I promise caster three degrees on the drivers four degrees on the passengers and zero camber on both sides or maybe just a little bit of negative so here's an upper control arm out of my junk pile um, I believe this is driver's side and here's your cam this is how this is what actually adjusts your caster and camber uh, if you need a description of caster and camber ref refer to the screenshot or refer to before uh, there are really good videos just general videos but this is concerning s10s so these these cam plates as you rotate the bolt you have a cam an eccentric uh, you can I believe get some of these that are more or less eccentric I use just factory stock ones uh, these are El cheapos from uh, Rock Auto made in America's heartland red China there's the part number on them but these these cam bolts these sit inside of the on the frame there is a an ear on either side of these and these rotate inside of that and move the position of the a-arm relative there we go relative to the frame so it's 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 moving the a-arm in and out something like that and if you move both cams with the fat part of the cam in the back then you push the whole a-arm out if you move the both cams the fat part to the front then you've sucked the a-arm in and that's changing your camber so if you rock, rock it like this run let's say this one out and this one in then that's changed your caster so a combination of both of these cams changes your camber and your caster so that's about as much explaining of that as I can do without tearing the front end off of one of these trucks to show you next time I have the fenders completely stripped off of one of these we'll make another video and really go over explaining everything So this little doodad here, I'm going to make a separate video about this adapter. This just threads on to your half axle. Uh, and this right here is a caster camber gauge. Now the circle track boys, every, every circle track rider you know, roundy round car guy, has got one of these probably. And a set of these turntables. Uh, I bought these off of Flea Bay. There's about $300 between the turntables and the caster camber gauge. They're well worth it. That's two alignments. And I've had really bad troubles here lately with, uh, with uh, getting things aligned right. So, this one here, now oh crap, we're back to about negative two on our camber. I don't know that you can actually see that for, for the glare but the way this works you line this bubble up you level the bubble and then you read right here so we're about one and a half degrees negative camber now negative camber is tire tipped in at the top positive camber is tire tipped out at the top Oh, I didn't have it on there right. Huh. I thought something had slipped. We're actually at zero camber, which is right at the factory spec. I didn't have my didn't have my gauge on it right. Okay, so you'll notice you've got two 
angles here. Those are about 20 degrees from straight. So the way you set your caster on these is you crank your tire out. Let me move the camera. So we're going to move the cranker out. We're going to crank her out until that's pointing about straight forward, or we've got about 20 degrees on our turntable. There's about 20 degrees on the turntable down here. Now we're going to zero. We're going to level it right here on this bubble. Now we're going to zero this bubble. There's an adjustment right here that zeroes your caster level. Okay, so we got that zeroed. Now we're going to turn it 20 degrees in. Now we're going to rotate this back around with my head in the shot. We're going to zero that bubble out. And read that bubble. So we're right at, I call that about two and a quarter. I had three and a quarter caster to start with. So we got about two degrees somewhere in there, between two and three. These aren't a hundred percent accurate, but trust me, that is so much better than what it was when I started that this thing's going to drive like a dream. So if you've got too much toe in, it's road crazy, and it's kind of when you when you turn with too much toe in. It really wants to dive and jerk in the direction that you've turned in but it stops pretty good if you've got not enough toe in or a little bit of toe out the opposite happens when you're going down the road straight it is constantly fighting because it's it's trying to go uphill downhill uphill downhill that's about the best I can describe how to know that your toe is good or not because just because the book says a tenth of a degree, that really doesn't translate well to 25-year-old rigs that are wore out. Because your lower control arm bushings are shot. Uh, this one's got a whole new upper. Every, all the upper control arm bushings are brand new. Ball joints are new. Tie rod ends are new. Steering, everything's new. Except, I think, for the lower control arm bushings. Don't remember replacing those. But that's in a nutshell how you get there from here now once everything is done with your caster and your camber and you've got both sides and you've got your nuts tightened down as tight as you can get them in a quarter turn more then you set your toe in you know i showed it first but you do that last and then after you get your toe in set if it needs adjusted and you adjust it double check your caster and camber because it's going to change a little not a lot but a little so that's about all i know about doing an alignment and i will do, make a separate video on this adapter how i made it so stay tuned for that till we meet again y'all drive safe watch for deer